Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, April 13th, 2017. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Lately out there, there's been a lot of fake and phony people out there, but there ain't a damn thing fake about rising figure star Maria Diaz. After starting her season off strong with an impressive top five finish at the Governor's Cup, Diaz is already back to putting in long hours at the office in an effort to earn her third straight trip to the Olympia stage. During her first two seasons on the pro stage, we've seen Diaz deliver a handful of truly awesome performances. And if she finds a way to put the pieces together at the right time, Olympia trip number three seems like it's almost a certainty. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bodybuilding fans of all ages, I am happy to announce that Ruli Winkler is finally back. After closing out a career best 2016 campaign that saw him reel off eight straight top six finishes, this week new footage of the beast himself surfaced for the first time in nearly three months. As usual, Ruli is looking completely insane right now and seems poised to build on that monstrous run we saw from him a year ago. A 100% Ruli Winkler is still one of the craziest things you're going to see anywhere in bodybuilding. And if he gets it going again early, there's no telling what sort of chaos this guy is going to bring. Out in the Midwest, Missouri lies right smack dab in the middle of what meteorologists are calling Tornado Alley. And right about now, figure fans in the Show Me State might want to start shutting up the windows and battening down the hatches because a Category 5 that goes by the name of Sandra Gajales is heading their way. A few weeks removed from her dominating win at the Governor's Cup, the second-year figure star announced recently that she's planning to bring her talents to the upcoming St. Louis Pro. And at the moment, Grajales might be the hottest athlete in all of figure. And if she's at her best, I think that it'll make for a pretty tough road for everyone else in this lineup. We don't typically associate the words fierce competitor with athletes in the figure division. But then again, rising figure standout Louise Rogers isn't your typical athlete. New progress photos of the UK figure nightmare leaked earlier this week showing off her trademark top of the class conditioning, a few weeks out from bringing the pain again for the second time this season. Over the last two years, Rogers has very quietly made herself into one of the more sneaky dangerous athletes in the division. But with the right performance on the right stage, she has the ability to completely change the conversation and elevate herself to an entirely new tier. There's a pretty short list of guys who can make you stop and say, whoa, what the hell was that? And in the men's physique division right now, the great Jeremy Potvin is definitely one of them. This week, some new back training footage surfaced of a very dangerous looking Potvin a few weeks removed from his disappointing finish at the Arnold Classic as he tries to right the ship heading into phase two of the season. Pound for pound, Potvin is already one of the top three or four athletes in the division in terms of pure talent. And if he can pull it all together at the right time, this kid is absolutely capable of beating anyone on any given day.